welcome back. So today I wanted to show you this extreme porch makeover. This is how the porch looked when I came to look at the place that I live in now. All right, so the guy told me he was gonna power wash and all that, it's gonna look so great. And I thought it would be like an awesome thing that would transform the porch to something different. Um, this is the end result after he did the power wash. It did take off a lot of the green stuff. I don't know what is that, algae or what have you and stuff, but some of it was still left and there was peeling paint and different things like that. So I decided to make over the porch. I'm not going to do a hardcore makeover because this is not a property that I do own. If I owned it, I would do a few things different. But this is something that you can do in a small porch that you might rent or if you wanted to do this in your home. Okay, pardon the blurry footage. Um, the sun was affecting me in all kind of ways so first what i did was take a cleaner that is to made to remove all of that algae and green stuff from the porch i'll put the name of it down below and what you do is you hook it up to your hose you spray it on and then you let it sit for 10 minutes after you let it sit for that 10 minutes then you'll go out there and scrub because you're going to want to do this step if you're doing this because you want to make sure that you have off all of that dirt algae and grime before you do anything else to your porch i did this around three times so just note after the power washing so i'm assuming they didn't do this power washing for a while on the porch um so it took three times of me doing this before all of it was removed so i had to let it sit scrub it rinse and repeat over and over i did the floor also if i was going to be doing this from my own home i would scrape the floor level off the floor or kind of things like that but i'm just doing this for a small patio makeover for a rental that i do have so i washed it down let that dry and then while i was drying i went on to the next step which was painting these patio chairs um i wanted these chairs but not in this color i got these at home depot for about 20 bucks a piece but the color was just a little bit too bright for me so i spray painted them with a matte spray paint black i it only took about one coat but you had to go back in the cracks for um a second coat after it was done just to get all the missing spots and then i also got this table which was fine in itself but i didn't like the color and for the color scheme i was going for i wanted a gold so what i did was tape off the glass part and then just give it one coat of spray paint with the metallic gold spray paint and then let that dry so so far it's just real simple it's about just getting the pieces and the color and the aesthetic that you want for it so the major part of what i had to do for the porch makeover was the cleaning once that all dried then i went in with an outside patio deck type paint that was made to paint over cement and i gave it about two coats i didn't really need to do two coats but i wanted to make sure it was nice and crisp and white um, I could have got away with just one coat because I am going to be covering it up. I didn't tape off the floor because I figured when I move, I will just take up what I've put on the floor, paint the whole thing gray. So really what I'm going to be doing is leaving them with a better porch than what they started with. So I got these lattice fences from Home Depot. I tried to adhere them to the wall with a silicone but it didn't work everybody was like it's great for outside it didn't work in sticking it so i had to figure out another way to stick the ladders to the cement but for right now i'm just holding it in place with the cinder blocks that i did get to make my bench and i'm spraying a mold spray down on the floor to go underneath the grass carpet to make sure that like you know there's not a lot of mold or algae build up in there and I also got the grass at um, Home Depot. You can use, you can get it cut to the size you want. What they had at the time when I went was pre-cut pieces, so I had to buy two pieces. And then I planted, um, well not planted, but I potted a palm tree that I also got from Home Depot. The lanterns that I got from Target I put out. This is a five and below table that I had. Um, the grill which sparked this whole thing which was the grill that my father gave me which made me want to do the patio and then i made a cinder block um bench so this is it so far i laid out the cinder blocks and then the boards i'm not keeping there it's just boards that i had for another project i wanted to see how the bench was going to play out so this is how it looks so far and most of the pieces are in place 
I went and I got some pine wood and double-sided outdoor mounting tape to put up the lattice fence, which helped it stick a whole lot better. Um, this is the half of the carpet that I had. I didn't like it as gray as it was, so I went over it with some of the white paint. Um, it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to turn out because the weather changed on me and it was real moist outside, so it wasn't drying the way I wanted it to dry, so I couldn't tape it off. The way I wanted to tape it off to get a precise design so what I had to end up doing was freehanding the design so I'm probably going to do the rug over again but what I was going to do was just make a you know pattern design like I just said <laughs> with the rug after that paint dried but like I said it wouldn't dry right because it kept getting dewy outside and all kind of whatnot so I just had to move on to the next step was which was finishing the bench so for the cinder blocks I painted them black just on the outside of where you're going to be able to see them at and then I cut like the pine like I said to the size that I needed it to be and I stained that pine with a dark wood stain which I absolutely love I think that was like probably my favorite part of the DIY so if you were looking for an easy furniture piece for outside some cinder blocks and um a piece of wood that's good for outside would be great so again that's the before and then this is the after and so you can do a lot with just a few pieces and you can see the bench there which the color is to me is so awesome um, and just a few pieces from Target and from Home Depot and you can do so much and you can change your outdoor space to make it something that you really love which I do now and I think I'll be hanging out outside a whole lot more if you like please give it a big old thumbs up and follow along for more room makeovers and home decor DIYs and things like that all right see you in the next one bye